Hello, Vinyl community. Um, yeah, I had some technical difficulties there. Uh, <laughs> but someone is already watching, so that's a good thing, right? Um, anyway, I, I have a bunch of stuff to show, so I couldn't wait until Sunday. So I thought I'd pop in here and, and just show you some cool stuff. Um, first of all, a shameless plug. Um, Colin Medicine Horse and I um, have been working on this, and um, I'm very, very proud of it. Um, it's his his prose poems, and uh, hey, Joseph, <laughs> uh, it's Colin's prose poems, and um, I I'm basically publishing it for him under my sort of. Uh, Ah, uh, Will, how are you? Uh, the Vinyl Potato. Um, under my my new business. Is it there? Yeah. Uh, Ren Deluxe. So, hi, Kat. How are you? Uh, hey, Matt. I'm glad you found me. <laughs> he was he was wondering what was what was up with the technical difficulties. But, um, yeah, go to rendeluxe.com and, and you'll be supporting two... VC members, um, if, if you're into poetry. All right, that's enough of a shameless plug, but his his poetry is, like, really out there, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So, hey, Brad. Um, yeah, so I, first, a bunch of CDs. Um, Matt, I, I stopped at uh, Mary S. Roberts. So uh, uh, their CD section is getting a little full, so... Uh, um, <laughs> Hey, my my brother's watching. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> my brother in Arizona. That's awesome. Hey, Brian, how are you? <laughs> I hope the uh, the kids are well. Um, anyway, yeah. So let, let's let's show you some CDs. This is a TV show um, I was into, and they always had cool music on there. So I thought I'd pick up the soundtrack. Um, Excellent. And uh, still sealed. Uh, we have one of the WoW Hits uh, compilations, 2014. Uh, two discs. Um, yeah. This is a complete blind buy. Um, you have? Uh, Charmed and Strange. Um it just looked interesting, basically. <laughs> uh, Stereophonics, I haven't heard them in a long time. Oh, Joseph, you know uh, UF? That's cool. Um, hmm. He says it's an awesome album, so good to know. Um, see, sometimes blind buys pay off. Actually, they frequently do. Uh, yeah, Stereophonics. Uh, uh, Matt is chiming in on this one. That's one of their classic albums, he says, so, yeah. Excellent. I I always thought Sunday videos would work out better, but so far, th <laughs> this is this is going much better than my, my Sunday live videos, but um, this is just an interesting one. Electronic Music, Plastic Compilation, Volume 2. Um, there you can kind of see some of the artists on there. Uh, the print is way too tiny on there, but uh, yeah, very cool. I, I do have some records to show, including a grail. So stick around. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Beck. And this... The Information? I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And it, it has a... I think a bonus disc or something. Ugh. Yeah, there's a bonus disc in there anyway. I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really familiar with this particular album. Uh, th this is a blind buy. It just looked interesting. Oh, uh, Will says that um, that Be Beck album is underrated. And it does have the stickers. You want to see the stickers? <laughs> uh. <laughs> So that, that's probably an added... I should have shown that to begin with, I guess, but I knew they were in there. Um, ooh. 
I want to be careful. I don't want to break it apart, but I'll just open it this much. And yeah, it has like a bunch of stickers. So there you go, Will. <laughs> By request. That's what I love about these live videos. You guys can chime in and if I don't show something, I, you know, you can chime in and I'll show it to you. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, this is the very best. Um, Warm Heart of Africa. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's, it's world music. Um, sounds like it. <laughs> Matt was saying I, I should show my War of the Worlds album. Uh, well, it, <laughs> it'd be good if I could find it. <laughs> I know I have it, but I, I, uh, I don't know where it is, but yeah, this looks cool. So, um, I, I do enjoy world music, um, Transglobal Underground, and this is International Times. Sorry about the spotty lighting. Uh, Rusted Root. This is, this is kind of a band I'm, I'm, uh sort of getting into. Um, I think this is probably my second or third album by them. So, uh, yeah. That's cool. Um, their album, Remember. Uh, Godsmack. I, I don't think I have this one. It could be a duplicate. Um, and this is Faceless. Do I have any Aussie bands? Um, that's what Brad is asking. Uh, well, I'm... You may or may not know, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, Midnight Oil. So I have two or three of theirs. Um, and I, I probably have some others. Um, I, I, I can't think of them offhand, but this is a, kind of an oddball for me. Um, but I, I do really enjoy um, his music. Uh, actually, I do have Little River Band. Um, I have... <laughs> Is uh, Matt mentioned that one? Um, he's he's jogging my my memory um, on on vinyl. Um, when I first started collecting, I f I found a whole bunch of Little River bands. I I I would always pick those up. I wasn't at the time. I wasn't even sure you know how much I liked them, but I decided to pick it up anyway. So uh, I, yeah, I have a bunch of them. Um, but M and M. <laughs> This is Encore, and this is like a crazy little uh, box set. Oops, it's upside down. Box set. Um, I'm not sure what the story is behind this, but it has like three discs, one of which is is uh, in a little mini sleeve, um, and then it has... Oh, that's a booklet, I guess. A, a booklet crammed in there with his face on there. Um, uh, they stowed away the, the 8 Mile soundtrack. So that's a bonus. <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. And then there's, rather than a booklet, there's these cards. They're like these, these picture cards. It's very strange. Um... And I'm not even sure if they're all here. I, I don't, I'm going to have to research this and find out, you know, how many were in there. It looks like it probably tells some kind of picture. Some kind of picture. Some kind of uh, story. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, and uh, today is Thrifty Thursday at Mary S. Roberts, where I picked these up. And um, uh, everything is 60% off. So usually the CDs are $2, but it was 60% off of that. Uh, Matt, here's one for you. And I may have this, but I was like, I can't pass that up because it's such a good album. Um, and I, I know you have it, Matt, but um, The White Room, uh, K the KLF, fantastic album. I love this thing. I, I've owned it multiple times in my life. <laughs> oh, I love this album so much. Um, yeah, Joseph... Uh, he, he knows what's up. 
<laughs> KOF, yes, I love it. <laughs> so I had to pick it. I, I I didn't know if I had it or not, but this band, you know, I want to give them a chance. Um, and it's still sealed. What I've heard of them, kind of iffy on, but Smash Mouth, um, actually Will might might uh, might be into them. Um, Astro Lounge. Um, <laughs> Matt was saying that he took uh, the UK version of uh, Now 21 to work because it had two KOF uh, um, songs on it. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure about this particular album, um, but it's a band I'm, I'm trying to get into. Uh, <laughs> Kat says that Waste is her fa favorite... Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, track four. Um, Kat was saying that Waste is her favorite Smash Mouth song. So, yeah, cool. <laughs> I have ten people watching right now. That's awesome. Um, Air. Uh, a band I'm a little... Fam Eleven people. That's, a, that's the most I've ever had. <laughs> um... Oh, Matt says he has one Smash Mouth album. Um, yeah, Eric, I, I don't remember too much about about this um, this band, but uh, you know, gotta pick it up. Uh, Feist, I haven't seen this one. Um, up to twelve people now. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is open season. couple more CDs, uh, especially for, uh, oh yeah, Ares album Moon Safari. Um, Matt says that's an amazing album. I, I think it is the same band. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, Pearl Jam. <laughs> My brother said uh, Paris is a big electro city. <laughs> um, yeah, the dogs might start barking, so don't be alarmed. Um, someone's doing their landscaping. Yeah, I, I've never seen this album. It and it's the packaging on it is kind of interesting. Uh, it's sort of like a a mini LP. There's a man. <laughs> the lighting is not too good today. Um, and then a little inner sleeve. <laughs> I like the CDs that are packaged like like their little LPs. <laughs> so this is uh, Pearl Jam, uh, Monkey Ranch, and this I was I was uh, listening to it a little bit in the car. Um, Vitalogy, uh, Pearl Jam, of course, um, and this is I don't know if it ordinarily came like this, but it it looks and feels like an LP. Um, it, it feels like a really deluxe... The cardboard is really, really thick. Um, oh. Matt, I, I might have to pass this on to you then, man. Um, yeah, yeah, CD. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I like it. I like Pearl Jam. But hey, Matt, if, if you want this, it's yours, buddy. <laughs> um... Yeah, you know, it's cool to have, and I, I have that album in other formats. Um, well, <laughs> cassette. <laughs> uh, all right, so on to the vinyl. Yeah, I do have some vinyl to show. Um, these first two, and I'm glad, hopefully my, my brother is still here uh, watching, because uh, this could be a trip down uh, uh, memory lane. Um Childhood Records. Um, my second oldest brother... Good, Brian's here, so uh, that's my brother. Um, yeah, so, Brian, do you remember this? <laughs> Joel, Joel uh, just gave this to me the other day. Um, so, uh, this is The Return of the King, A Story of the Hobbits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Joseph says he has a... A whole channel devoted to this stuff. Wow, I'm going to have to check that out, man. Uh, put a link. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, the feels. My brother says the feels because we played the heck out of this. Oh, man. Um, I'm afraid to open it, actually, because the, the booklet inside is kind of falling apart. So I'm not going to bother opening it. And then also from our childhood, a, a two-record... Um, uh, vinyl box set of uh, The Hobbit. So it's the complete original soundtrack, including dialogue, music, and songs. Um, what was that song? Oh, yes. <laughs> it, it, has, it has this... It, yes, yes. Brian, <laughs> Brian knew what I was talking about. Uh, it has the song... The greatest adventure. <laughs> Pardon my singing, but you know. <laughs> it's memories, man. I'm tearing up here. <laughs> this is so awesome. I, I had no idea he still had those, but very cool. Um, huh. Oh. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm periodically reading the comments and I'm trying to like, because they pop up and then they, they start fading almost right away. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, um, Vin Vinyl Richie isn't here today. Um, he's he's joined me a couple times, I think. And I, I, mentioned, um, I mentioned a band that I thought he would like. Um, he hasn't gotten back to me about them yet. But I've looked more into them, and I've even uh, communicated with one of the band members on um, uh, Facebook. And according to what I'm reading in this, they're a garage band, but they really sound more punk to me. Um, or at least have some heavy punk influences or a punk attitude or something. But uh, they are Psychotic Pineapple. And... Um, their, their music is pretty hard to find. I actually discovered them. Uh, I bought a cassette of one of their concerts at Burger Records. And uh, I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, so this is, this is their, their album, uh, Where Is The Party? And supposedly it's also available on vinyl. I'll, I'm probably going to see if I can track down a copy of that for a decent price. Uh, but this is the deluxe edition CD and uh, book. Um, it's really, really cool. I was a little hesitant at first to get it. But there you see some of their... their um, <laughs> sorry, itchy nose. Um, some of their concert posters there. More concert posters. Um, it has information about the band. That's their, their mascot there, uh, Pino. Um, I think that's his name. <laughs> so information about the band. A lot of pictures of the band. Yeah, yeah a lot of pictures of the band. Of course, lyrics to the album. Um... <laughs> Matt says they do they do look uh psychotic. Um Yeah, you can find them on um uh, Joseph was saying he hasn't heard of them and he's going to check them out. Um I I know they they're on um I'm pretty sure they're on SoundCloud. I could Now I'm I could be wrong. I know they're on Facebook. Um and psychotic is without the h. So, um, I know, uh, Amazon music, if you have Amazon music, they're on there. Um, so that'd be a quick way to listen to them. Um, yeah, but, and then there's the, the CD. Very, very cool. So, um, and he shipped this very, very quickly. I was actually telling him because his website is, uh, <laughs> non-functional shall we say um but 
I was telling him about Bandcamp and how easy it is to sell music on there. So hopefully he'll go on there. Um, I mean, why wouldn't he? <laughs> anyway, if you like garage music or, or punk or something in between, uh, definitely check out Psychotic Pineapple. Yes. <laughs> so thrilled to pick this up, man. I, oh, it's awesome music okay so we're down to the grail um periodically i i i just look for this band's albums on vinyl on ebay and they're either non-existent or they're too expensive and i i finally found one of my grails um, certainly one of my favorite live albums, and that is, and it's a band most of you probably haven't heard of, uh, The Lounge Lizards. <laughs> That's a drum roll. <laughs> uh, The Lounge Lizards, and this is, um, uh, Live in Tokyo, Big Heart. Let me see. Live in Tokyo, Big Heart. So, they're... There is sort of avant-garde jazz um, with, I would almost say that they, they have kind of a, <laughs> my brother said he's heard of them, but because of me, <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, they almost have like a, a punk or a garage feel to them, um, so, this album is just, oh my goodness, um, yeah, I'm trying to, I, I don't remember what song it was, but <laughs> they had a music video, believe it or not, um, <laughs> uh, Fishing with John, there, my brother asked me um, about the fishing show. Uh, John Lurie, uh, this guy here, um, he's he's also an actor, and uh, he had a sort of um, uh, I guess a documentary type show where he would go fishing with a celebrity. Um, there were only like six or eight episodes. Um, I loved it. I, I need to see if I can find uh, copies of that, but, um, yeah, John Lurie, he's, he's like the mastermind behind the band. And there's actually, um, uh, you'll probably recognize some names here. Um, Evan Lurie, um, piano, uh, Eric Sanko bass. He's done some solo work. Um, and, uh, a big name, uh, Mark Rebo, if that's how you pronounce it. Huh. Joseph is saying that John Lurie did the Conan O'Brien theme. Really? I didn't know that. But I love, love, love the Lounge Lizards. Um, sadly, uh, I got this on eBay, and... The the seller sent sent it in, you know, a legitimate uh, record mailer. Um, but they didn't put any padding whatsoever inside, so it was just the record floating around inside. And of course, the box got bent. So of course, I don't know if actually right there. So right there, you can see it's bent. <laughs> So I contacted the seller, and he was cool about it. He he gave me a partial refund, so I'm very happy. And the the vinyl is looks really nice. I haven't played it yet. I still need to clean it. But uh, this was such an epic grail for me. Um, uh, probably top, definitely top fifteen albums. Maybe my top ten. Um, yeah. So thrilled to pick this up. It just uh, this way I discovered the Lounge Lizards in an 
a very important year or couple years in music for me. Um, right around 1987-88. And I know 1987 is a big year for Matt Hayes also. Um, uh, there was a show called New Visions. It was on VH1. And they showed music videos of stuff, you know, they wouldn't usually play on VH1 or MTV. Um, you'd have, like, The Lounge Lizards, Guitaro, Tender and Dream, uh, Bella Fleck and the Fleck Tones, Jane Sibri, um, Yanni, uh, who else? Um, a, a bunch of others, but you get the idea. Um, they would even play Chet Baker on there. Uh, that's actually, I think, how I discovered Chet Baker. Um, yeah. So that was just a critical time period for me, 1987, 88. And I just, Shadow Facts, yeah, that was another one. My brother chimed in. Um, Shadow Facts was another one I discovered. Um, we actually, Brian and I used to watch it together sometimes, so, uh, cool memories there, Brian. <laughs> um, yeah, so, it, uh, it's such a, uh, a couple years that just really changed the music I was listening to. It's, it's really when I started branching out and just listening to new age and jazz and, um, uh, you know, uh, bluegrass, um, that, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, but oh, I'm so glad to have this on vinyl. I need to get it on CD now. <laughs> I would like to have a CD of it as well. Ah, oh, that that reminds me. Speaking of CDs, so you know, a lot of us came to a point in our collecting. Um. Oh, my brother is asking what what the new age radio station was that became smooth jazz. That was KTWV the Wave. It used to be awesome. They would play Tangerine Dream and all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> anyway, that you know, that's that's the 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 thing about live videos. But you know, I I feel it's more important to respond to the people that are here with me. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, but it, it was such it's such a critical time and. Um, I, I was just really branching out, um, previously, um, to that time period, I was, I was basically into, you know, pop, rock, a little bit of metal, um, a tiny, tiny bit of punk, um, and I mean tiny, um, but... 1987-88 is when it really exploded and led to this day where I'll listen to everything from classical to death metal. So, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, hi, Tristan. Uh, Tristan is, is saying, show us your Beatles collection. Well, uh, it'd be a short video. <laughs> Uh, between the wife and I, we have some Beatles, um, on vinyl, it, it, not much, honestly, um, it, it'd mostly be, uh, Beatles solo albums, actually, um, uh, and we have, the wife has, uh, some, some CDs as well, um, she, she's, I love the Beatles, don't get me wrong, but, uh, the wife is is more of of a Beatles fan. Um, I went through a period where I was deep, deep, deep into John Lennon specifically, um, and now I've I've kind of uh, I still love John Len John Lennon, but 
there's just something about George Harrison, and I, I, I feel like his role in the Beatles is sometimes overlooked. Not, not as much as um, uh, Ringo's, but um, you know, he's he's definitely uh, overshadowed by um, Paul and John. Um, yeah. But here I am holding a Lounge Lizards record talking about the Beatles. <laughs> the beauty of live videos. Um, yeah. So, well, that was it. Um, my goodness. Whew. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Brian said uh, he, he was about to say George. Um, yeah. I... Music, 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 you know, it just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what can you do when you have a music addiction, you know, um, just keep buying stuff and, you know, getting, getting rid of stuff that, you know, maybe you didn't enjoy as much as you thought you would, that sort of thing, but, um, yeah, I, I, I do want to mention, <laughs> Um, I, I do have another channel that I'm just starting up, uh, called Comics by Moonlight. Um, yeah, it's, it's just starting up. There's only a couple videos, but if you look up, um, uh, Comics by Moonlight, um, yeah, that's my, my new channel. Um, oh. I was trying to bring up the comments again, but anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> amazing stuff. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna gonna do on Sunday, but I'm sure I'll think of something, right? Because <laughs> I I do want to have that as you know, definitely a weekly thing, kind of get people used to it, and maybe more and more people will be joining me. But um, I think today we maxed out at 12 people, and. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this live um, format just because it's kind of like instant gratification. <laughs> and also, I don't have to do any editing. Because, <laughs> you know, if I record it and then I watch it back, I'm going to edit it. I mean, it's just that simple. Um, but this being a live video, um, you know, I have an excuse not to. So, um, but definitely... Uh, I highly recommend um, Psychotic uh, Pineapple. Um, yeah. Uh, where's the party? Um, I don't know if I don't know if Burger Records has that cassette on their on their website, but um, I know they have it in store, so. Uh, you should be able to buy it on the website, but I uh, I love Burger Records. Um, their their selection is very different. Um, uh, yeah, and Matt was saying that he doesn't watch his videos back. He'd he'd rather live in ignorance. Um, I don't know. You know. I, I'll be honest, sometimes I, I go back and I watch my old videos and it's kind of like, you know, rediscovering my own collection because these videos serve as like a, like a, a record, <laughs> no pun intended, of, you know, the music I've acquired and what I like and what I don't like and so, you know, I'll go back and watch videos and, um, I like to think I'm not being vain by doing that, but um, as for, as far as the editing of the videos, you know, I, sometimes I I go on and on about things that don't really matter, and so you know I'll cut those things out, or uh, you know the dogs will start barking, I cut that out. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, he was saying it was more because of the embarrassment. Um, um, and Matt was saying that um, in particular early videos. Yeah, when I go back and look at my early videos, I seem very stiff. 
and slightly soft-spoken. Um, uh, Kat is saying she watch, watches hers back sometimes uh, to see how her tastes have changed. Um, uh, Brad is recommending the band Fugazi. <laughs> oh, these these comments are great. I, I love it. Um, uh, and my brother is saying that uh, his kids love seeing themselves in my video. Um, a few videos back, I, I showed my, my uh, nephew and niece. Um, so, hi, Stevie and Fiora. Um, <laughs> yeah, very cool. Anyway, I, I think I'm just kind of babbling now. Um, unless anyone has any questions for me... Um, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I still have ten people here. That's amazing. <laughs> I I'm I don't know. Maybe I'll have to switch to a weekday for this. I don't know. Um, Brad is saying that he needs all the the Fugazi albums. Um, um, you know that that's a band. I, I I know I've heard their stuff, but I I can't really place it. And I might have one CD floating around or something, but um, yeah. Um, Brian is asking if I've heard of Red Dirt. No, I haven't. Uh, has anybody else heard of Red Dirt? Ah, oh, the Jeb dude. How are you? <laughs> uh, the Jeb dude. I I know you. Uh, you do live videos too. Oh, Chester Bennington died. Um, wow. Uh, wow. Um, Kat is upset about that, and um, Matt, I think Matt was saying that. He's not sure if he's heard of them. Um, <laughs> Brad is asking if I'm into Primus or Tool. Definitely. Uh, however, with Tool, I, I have some issues with them because I think they're one of the few remaining bands that has just really cut off um, uh, sort of digital music. Um, it, maybe it's not that way anymore, but the last time I looked, which was a while back, you couldn't get any other stuff, um, digitally, um, so I don't know if it's still like that. Hi, DJ Matt, um, <laughs> weekday live streams are great, we need something to enjoy while at work, that's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Uh, these comments are really scrolling. Um, sorry if the camera is shaking, but I'm scrolling back. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, James! Finally! Finally! <laughs> James is over in, in England. Um, so, uh, he, he, he just joined me. Um, James, I, I was just showing a, a grail I had picked up, um, uh, The Lounge Lizards. Uh, this is a, a live album. Um, uh, Big Heart, live in Tokyo. Uh, so good. It's, it's kind of avant-garde jazz. Um, another cool thing I picked up, uh, just for those that are just joining, um, Psychotic Pineapple. It's like the deluxe edition uh cd and a hardcover booklet or book um uh, very very cool they're a garage slash punk band <clears throat> i was also showing uh james you might be interested in this uh some of my childhood records my second oldest brother daryl um uh he gave these to me the other day uh, this is a two record box set uh, I think complete with booklet, um, uh, the Hobbit, the complete original soundtrack, <clears throat> and also um, the Return of the King, a story of the Hobbits. Um, yeah. So, and I showed a bunch of CDs. I I won't really get into those, but um, I picked up some M and M, <laughs> and some uh, some Beck. And the Beck is complete with the stickers. I'll show the stickers again just for fun. Cause, you know, we have we have some new people here now. Um, yeah, complete with the stickers. Anyway, uh, wow. 
Oh, and I was also, at the very beginning, I showed um, a project that uh, uh, Colin Medicine Horse and I uh, have worked on. Um, it's his, his book, Broken Bones. Um, you can get it at rendeluxe.com. Um, that's how you spell rendeluxe. Sorry, it's not really focusing. Um, yeah, there's Colin. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do need to talk to Colin. <laughs> uh, he he's a very very interesting poet. Um, his poetry it, it'll it'll pretty much blow your mind. It's it's mind bending. <laughs> Oh yeah. Anyway, um, any any other questions or anything? Because uh, otherwise, you know, we're forty minutes in. I'll, I'll probably start wrapping it up. But um, oh, the Jeb dude wrote something for a book about Chris Cornell. Interesting. Oh, it's free on Amazon. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, very cool. Um, I think Jacob mentioned uh, Rush. Um, I, I do, I do love Rush. Um, uh, I've managed to pick up, I think, a few of their albums on, on vinyl. Uh, Brad is asking, do I stream music? Yes, I do. Um, the Jib Dude says, uh, it's called Thank You, Chris Cornell. Okay, we'll have to look for that. Um, but back to Brad's question about streaming music, um, for a, for a long time, I used Slacker Radio, and I loved it. Um, but I figured it was kind of redundant because I'm an Amazon Prime member, and Amazon Prime has their own music streaming. So I pretty much do that, and then I'm kind of piggybacking on my dad's um, XM or Sirius XM satellite radio um, account. And uh, I can access that online, and I have a, a spare radio that I uh, take in the car with me. So, uh, so yes, I do stream music. Um, you know, I, I, I want to consume... Uh, um, I don't like Spotify. Brad asked uh, what my view is on Spotify. Uh, um, it may be caught up to speed now, but it had, it, it had a it kind of a slow start. Um, and I, uh, I, I thought Slacker Radio was much, much better. So, uh, <laughs> uh, James Griffith says he loves Yacht Rock. <laughs> That's funny. Um, how do I bring these comments back? Oh, there we go. Um, James says he had some awesome VCLT today. Uh, Oh, um, I think, uh, James, I, th I think your, your, uh, Thomas Dolby video, I think that's when I started watching and I got interrupted and I, I need to go back to it. Um, definitely. Um, uh, the Jeb dude was saying that he rarely uses Spotify. I, you know, you guys can probably read each other's comments. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I don't know that it's necessary for me to... <laughs> To be saying so and so said this, so and so said that. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I'm I'm still learning this whole live thing. But um, I do really enjoy this format, and I, I love the the instant gratification of it and the instant feedback, um, the participation. And see, we have a it's it's like we're in a room right now. Of course, I can't see any of you, but you can all see me. <laughs> um, James thinks of Roxy Music's Avalon as Yacht Rock. <laughs> uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, huh. Interesting. Um, yeah, the the ads on Spotify. That's, that's definitely one thing that kills it. Um, and that's part of the reason I, I jumped ship from Pandora... Also, the, their their channels. I mean, their yeah, their channels aren't as good. Um, I'll start Adora's channel, and 
and pretty soon it's playing like REM or something. It's like, what? What connection is there between the doors and REM? I don't see it. <laughs> you know, obviously, if I put the doors channel, I, you know, obviously I'm, I'm looking for a classic rock. <laughs> uh, although I guess REM, you know, some of their stuff is considered classic rock now. But, uh, yeah. Um, I do, uh, James is asking if I have any REM on cassette. I do. Um, I, I couldn't tell you offhand um, which ones I have. Probably, is it green? Um, uh... I'm I'm so bad with titles. Um, I I know I have at least two or three of their albums on, on uh, cassette. Um, Cat was just saying that REM is amazing, and they, I agree they are amazing. Um, their their one misstep for me is uh, the song "Stand." I hate that song. <laughs> it's just a, a stupid, silly song. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, losing my religion yeah um, I, I I definitely have more of them on on CD <laughs> yeah Kat was saying it was it, it's a joke song yeah 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 you know um, I, I do think I have more REM on CD I don't have anything on vinyl um Oh, there's another one. Uh, Shiny Happy People. Uh, yeah. Was that a different song? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. We have an active group of people here. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I feel like I should be showing something, but you, you are, are uh, chiming in with uh, lots of good stuff. <laughs> Uh, James was saying he has a thing about about Michael Stipe. Um, a thing against Michael Stipe, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so James meant against uh, Michael Stipe. Um, I, I can see that. You know, he, he's kind of... A little bit of an odd character, and uh, um, his his voice is unique. Was <laughs> cat was it? Cat just said his voice is is amazing, and I just said it's unique. But I, it, you know, it's amazing in that it's unique. Um, but apparently James doesn't like it. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, this it, this is really cool. <laughs> This is going far better than the Sunday one, so I don't know. Um, I forget who said it, but uh, weekday um, live live videos might be might be the key. Um, yeah, <laughs> everybody's at work watching me. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I, I find I still find it funny that people watch my videos. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, it's Brad said it's is awesome chatting about music. It really is. Um, I mean, I could talk about music all day, and I I'm I'm far from knowledgeable about music. I think my problem is I like so many different types of music that it's hard to really you know be an expert in anything. Um, huh. James, you shouldn't say that you hate U2. Come on, man. <laughs> I love U2. Um, you know, they, they've changed a lot. And there was the whole iTunes debacle um, where they force-fed their album to everybody. Um, but I love them. Um, you know, they're not as good as, as their, their old days. Um... um but they, I don't, I don't feel like they've declined that much. So, because some artists, you know, with careers that long, they just like it gets to a point where they just nosedive and 
they just put out garbage. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, it is just about lunchtime. So I think I'm going to call it quits here at just over 50 minutes. Um, but I'm so glad all of you were able to join me and I got to show you uh, some cool stuff, although that was like a half hour ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so at the beginning I showed a bunch of CDs, so if you care to go back and see those. Um, um, and then the, the, the few records and yeah, good stuff. Um, I guess it's uh, Matt's lunchtime as well. Let's check these comments again. Here we go. Um... <laughs> Matt is off to flame broiler. Um... Oh, James has to put a boy to bed. Um, I'm so glad you could finally join me, James. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Um... Ah, yes. Uh, Matt says a, a tofu bowl. And cat, you have a good day as well, cat. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Brad, 6 a.m., your day is just starting. You better put some music on. And uh, <laughs> Anyway, and I, I don't know if Brian is still there. Are you still there, Brian? <laughs> um, if not, you know, I'll see you later. Um, uh, <laughs> Matt says, yeah, Brad, put some Yacht Rock on. <laughs> uh, where Jacob is, uh, it's 4 p.m., so... Uh, about three hours ahead of me. Um, oh, okay, Brian's still here. Um, well, anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much. Oh, I love you too, Brian. <laughs> and for those that don't know, he's my brother, so <laughs> so I can say that um, and still be married, you know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much uh, for joining me. Uh, this was a blast. Um, definitely the best live video I've done so far. Um, so I guess it was a stroke of genius to have it during the week. Uh, so maybe that'll happen again. Um, so good uh, hearing from you, Matt. And uh, I, I'm sure we'll be hanging out again soon. So enjoy your lunch. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time. <laughs>